guys, it's Amber. So today I'm going to be doing how I did my makeup in high school challenge. And I'm also going to be adding how I did my hair because, yeah, we just we just need to go there today. <laughs> I don't know who started this challenge, so if you do, please feel free to link them down below. I've seen lots of people do this video and I'm not sure exactly where it originated from. So if you do know, let me know and I will for sure link their channel down below. So when I was in high school, I had many different looks. I mean, you think about from your freshman, sophomore t to senior, like you go through lots of different stages and I really was into hair. I did a lot with my hair all the time. I was always like twisting it in configurations and all kinds of stuff. So I guess it's kind of where my passion for hairdressing came from. I didn't get into doing a lot with my makeup until I was a little bit older. I was fortunate enough that my mom took me to makeup counters when I was in high school. So primarily my makeup came from Lancome and from Clinique. And that's mostly the makeup I used. I did not go and repurchase the stuff that I actually used. So I'm just going to use what I have to recreate the look. But starting with foundation, my foundation was always a little bit too dark for my skin because I'd always say like make it darker and then I would want to use bronzer. So my foundation I used the Tint Idol from Lancome and I used their little pot concealer and I just applied it so thick and then I would use I had a loose bronzer from Clinique that had shimmer in it and I would like put it all over. <laughs> I also worked at a salon in high school and they did have tanning beds so I tended to be a little bit tan most of the time but my face and my decollete area never tanned as well, so I kind of wanted it to match my body, if you know what I mean. And I was also known to, <laughs> that day and age, I wore a lot of like skater type clothes, Roxy, Volcom, a lot of tight t-shirts that were cropped a little bit. Anyhow, I will go ahead and get started. I did pull out my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation that's too dark. And I did not use a primer, and so I'm just going to go right in with my fingers and apply this. And I did not use makeup brushes, really. When I was in high school, contouring and highlighting wasn't even a thing. Like, it just didn't even, it just didn't even come to mind. Probably wore way too much foundation because I was really insecure about the redness in my face even though it's probably fine but I did wear way more than I needed to and the, the Lancome foundation back then at least was really thick and it was kind of cakey to be honest but I mean if you survived high school without having foundation that was cakey then <laughs> you're winning at life <sighs> so I do have a couple of pictures to show you guys but I, I had a hard time finding pictures of my makeup or that showed my makeup because my eyes are hooded most of the time you couldn't see it but I had like three main looks that I would wear most of the time I had two for every day and one for like dances and the everyday looks was one was really bronzy coppery eyeshadow all over the lid which is a pretty neutral so I'm not gonna do that look the next one was purple and that's the one that I'm gonna do and then my look that I did for dances was white and a dark purple um, but I'm not gonna do that look today all right let me see if I have any concealer that I can use so I just put a ton of concealer I don't have anything that's the right color that's thick enough so I'm just gonna use this oh, it's gonna be a little too light well, I'm going to put this on and then I'm going to put another coat of this other foundation over it because it really was cakey. Like I really just had the thick concealer on my nose because I was just so paranoid. Well, I think it's it's coming out okay. I'll put a little of the foundation on it. I was just so paranoid about the redness showing through that I was like, no. And I don't even remember setting my foundation with a powder which seems insane. I don't know why I didn't do that, but I don't remember doing that. I'm just using my bronzer. So now we're gonna bronze it up. So I'm gonna use the Amazonian Clay 
Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. It's the only one I have that has a little bit of shimmer in it. Yeah, this is probably pretty accurate. <laughs> So as far as highlighting, I didn't highlight my face at all. I didn't wear blush. I didn't put other than bronzing, you know, up a little bit. I don't think I need any darker, so I think I'm good there. I didn't do anything to my brows. I just left them unplucked, uncolored, anything. I just completely left them. And I never usually wore an eye primer, so I'll go right into eyeshadow. So it was very simple. I just basically took a lilac shade, which I'm going to take this one right here, and I put it all over the lid. I'm going to use a sponge tip because that's what I used. And I actually remember the shadow. It was like sugar berry, and it was from Clinique. And it was just a little single one of those silver ones that had the slide out. And that was the color I wore. Okay, and I didn't always wear eyeliner, but I did wear a little bit of eyeliner. And I never wore liquid. I always use, it was like a black liner. I don't know if it, who made it, but it was the twist up and then it had a little smudger on the bottom. That was the eyeliner I always used. That was one drugstore product that I would always go for. So I never put anything on my lower lashes or eyeliner or mascara, but I did curl my eyelashes. I can't remember exactly what mascara I wore in high school. I think it was like a purple tube, but I, I think it was CoverGirl, but I know definitely it was drugstore for sure. I didn't buy the high-end mascara unless I ended up getting like those gift with purchases. Oh my gosh, I love the gift with purchases. I lived for that. Okay, and for lips, I always wore a very pinky kind of metallic lip gloss. I'm pretty sure it was the Bonneville Creamsicle. So let me see what I have that will kind of replicate that look. The other color I used to wear a lot was kind of a violety color. So I'm going to go for that. And then I'm going to put this glitter over it. I loved glittery lip gloss. Alright, well that's pretty much it for my makeup, so let's go ahead and get started with my hair. So what was all the rage when I was in high school was like twisting your hair up in bobby pins and doing all the little loops and spikes and doing updos and all that kind of stuff. So let me show you guys some pictures. First off, so here's a picture of me and my husband at junior prom and I had my hair all twisted up and like the little updo, had all the tons of ringlets. I was like ringlet crazy, super tan. Um, yep, so that's kind of one of the styles I wore a ton. The style I'm gonna more or less recreate today is more like this, except for I would do half up, half down. So you can see I always had like the little loops and the spikes and I always put a flower in my hair. I would always have like white or pink sunglasses. I had tons of sunglasses. And then just kind of like t-shirts that are always showing my stomach. I was just being tall and having short shirts. I didn't mean for it to always be like that, but it totally ended up that way that I always was just wearing kind of like, not really crop tops, but just like small t-shirts, I guess. The other way I wore my hair um, was just really straight. And I'd wear it really straight with kind of like the curls in, like it would layer and curl in like that or I would just wear it perfectly straight. And then I always wore kind of a side part. So these pictures are me and my husband from a photo booth. I think this was probably my senior year. So that's the other way I kind of wore my hair just long and um, curled under just like that. I wish I had better pictures of my actual makeup, but I mean, most of the pictures I had were from like, um, disposable cameras and it just it wasn't like now where you just took pictures with your phone I mean I had a little Nokia phone I couldn't even take pictures and I didn't even have it till my senior year so <laughs> yeah normally I would spend so much time making sure this was like perfectly precise but tonight I'm just gonna kind of throw it up here oh my gosh just doing this is just like I feel like I'm 17 again when I was in junior high, we would do this with the butterfly clips. Oh, 
that was a very special time. All right, so the next thing I would do is just take this hair here and I would just loop it around. This is for you. Here we, here we go. Yeah. Uh, what? Come on. Yeah. What? Come on, come on, come on. So here's my finished hair look, just super straight and then all the little crazy loops and spikes and a flower. This is pretty typical for me in high school. Um, so a few more other little things that I would wear is I always would wear like the tight t-shirts and then I would wear like skirts that had like pinstripes in them and then I had this pink studded belt that I wouldn't put like around the waist but I kind of like slope it over my hips and then I'd wear these big like pink bands and I had like pink glittery um <laughs> pink glittery shoelaces I loved anything that was glittery I actually found this I still have this this is from high school so just because I can I'll put this on so this bracelet says AMS and so I had that I also loved like little hoop earrings so I have my little hoops here these ones have bling in them and these actually are from high school yeah sadly I still have them so I had my little uh, earrings on I would wear like the silver chains that would always make you look really tan they were like flat and shiny and let's see what else would I wear. Oh, I'd wear like brightly colored capris. I had like floral patterns and stuff on it. And then I had like this metal belt that had loops and I would like, you know, put it over my hips and yeah, just stuff like that. I also found some sunglasses that were totally me. So here you go guys. Did I do good? No. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that button and subscribe. I'd love to have you join me. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye! Every month because there's going to be different brands and different retailers. And so you'll never know when it could be you who gets a box of free stuff. Yay!